Good evening. We invite you to watch the English Chinese News or Central Television Channel of the Nai Province. The audience yesterday, Prime Minister Phạm Minh Chính worked with the U.S. ASEAN Business Council and more than 60 leaders of major U.S. enterprises to further concretize the U.S.-Vietnam Comprehensive Strategic Partnership. At a conference, U.S. businesses affirmed their conference when investing and expanding investment in Vietnam, identifying Vietnam as an increasingly important manufacturing center and an important component in the global supply chain. Prime Minister Phạm Minh Chính emphasized, besides economic and investment relations, science and technology and innovation cooperation are new pillars in the comprehensive strategic partnership between the two countries. The Prime Minister said that Vietnam is making efforts to make three strategic breakthroughs in institution, infrastructure, and human resources, asking U.S. businesses to promote cooperation and investment, to renew regional growth engines such as consumption, investment, export, and promote new growth engines such as digital transformation, green transformation, energy, artificial intelligence, semiconductors, at the same time supporting Vietnam to diversify production and supply chains, transfer technology to Vietnamese enterprises. Yesterday, our chairman of the Nam Provincial People's Committee, Võ Tân Đức, worked with departments, sectors, and localities on social housing projects in the province. According to the goal of completing about 10,000 houses by 2025, localities have so far submitted doses proposing investment policies for 12 projects with a scale of about 20,700 apartments, of which the Denmark Provincial People's Committee has approved an investment policy for five projects with a scale of about 9,000 apartments. At a meeting, Arden Chairman of Provincial People's Committee for Tung Duc said that legal procedures on bidding to select investor appraisal on investment policies, slow adjustment on investment policies have affected the implementation progress. In order to achieve the set goals, the Arden Chairman of Provincial People's Committee requested six localities that have proposed projects to actively work with departments and sectors to complete the procedures for inviting biddings and starting the project. Fellow coffees that do not yet have the proposal doser must urgently complete the procedures for submission for appraisal of investment policies. The Provincial Department of Planning and Investment appraises doses from proposed coffees, ensuring punctuality according to the shortened process. Yesterday, the Nai Radio and Television Station and the Nai Provincial Cooperative Alliance signed a contract to carry out information and propaganda activities on collective economy in the province for a period 2024-2030. In recent years, the cooperative economy topic conducted by the Marin Department of the Nai Radio and Television Station in accordance with the Provincial Cooperative Alliance has broadcast many topics, reports, and seminars to propagandize the fuel operation of the collective economic sector, especially propagating the activities of the Cooperative Development Support Fund according to Decree No. 45 of the government. In a spirit of solidarity and cooperation at a silent ceremony, the two units agreed that coordinated propaganda programs in the field of collective and cooperative economics on the night radio and television station will be increasingly effective, contributing to the overall development and success of cooperatives in the market economy. The Nguyen Tân Phú Regional Task Department has just honored a trend course on electronic invoice policies initialized from cash register for shop owners, businesses, operating gasoline and oil retail business in the district. At a training session, shop owners and enterprises operating 
gasoline retail business listen to Mr. Nguyen Dinh, head of propaganda department, supporting the Nantas department to disseminate e-enforced policies for gasoline and oil shops and retailers according to circular number 78 of the Ministry of Finance. Also as training, VNBT Domnai and Vitel Military Telecommunication Group introduced software integrating as enforced app with a number of handheld BOS models with diverse and civil electronic enforcers, business process electronic enforcers from cash registers. Responding to Binghua Cultural Youth Day in 2024, celebrating the 61st anniversary of the Thousand Good Deeds Movement, March 24, 1963, March 24, 2023, and the 70th anniversary of the victory over the Phu, May 7, 1954, May 7, 2024. Yesterday, at Binghua Park, Binghua City Team Council, in collaboration with C Education and Training Department, honors a color festival for nearly 300 students from primary, secondary, and high school in Binghua City. With the theme, Binghua Children Doing Thousands of Good Deeds, the festival includes youthful activities such as painting contests, helping children to unleash their creativity to express their feelings, national pride, and write to, to teachers, fathers, and mothers. The children also had a chance to visit a display of paintings of Binghua youth looking towards the homelands, islands, and seas, activity of changing recyclable trash for gifts and folk games and painting statues. Vogue Ping from Nguyen Primary School, Binghua City, Dong Mai Province said, I participate in drawing and pottery village. I like painting the most because drawing is my passion. I find this activity help my friends to have more creativity. Du Fang Thay Thanh, student of Nguyen Minh Kim Secondary School, Binghua City, Dong Mai Province said, Today I participate in drawing activities. These activities are very useful. I hope there will be many activities for me to participate in. The festival is implemented with a desire to create a healthy and useful playground for teenagers and children, contribute to fostering and developing painting and fire art abilities, promoting talents and comprehensively developing children. Wing of Taiwan, Party Secretary Chairman of Binghua City Union Council, Dome Province said, During the Youth Week, there is a program for children to help them understand the history of the nation. This is an activity in the first week of seven weeks of peak emulation of Binghua children towards the 70th anniversary of historic victory of Binh Phu.